No matter how old you are, 30, 40, 50 or older, the last thing you want to achieve when you get dressed is to look older than you are. So today we're talking about five most common mistakes that make you look older and most important how to fix them in just a few seconds. So the first thing we're gonna talk about today is the length because it is the most age-sensitive criteria when it comes to personal styling. And surprisingly, while most women are concerned about whether they can afford to wear a mini till a certain age, should they stop at 40, 50, 60, maybe older, the most common mistake they make is actually to wear two long lengths in one outfit, which not only make them look much heavier than they are, but also create this very mature impression. For example, if I pair a maxi skirt with a long jacket, I create quite frumpy dated silhouette, which will make me look not only heavier, but also more mature. The same would be achieved if I paired long loose pants with longer top, again, I'd look heavier and older. The best way to fix it is actually to combine short and long lengths in the outfit, for example, shorter tops with longer skirts or longer tops with shorter skirts. As you see here, I swapped long top for a men's shirt, tucked it in the skirt. But if you don't feel comfortable with tucking in your top inside the bottom, you can just go for a shorter top or a jacket instead. And immediately my look becomes more balanced in terms of silhouette and more up to date in terms of style. I can pair this long jacket with a mini skirt, again to achieve more balanced silhouette, to elongate my legs and my height and make the outfit more flirty and younger. As a stylist, I'm absolutely convinced that our figure, no matter which shape and height we have, is our biggest asset. Therefore, instead of concealing some areas we feel less confident about under some loose, shapeless clothes and make ourselves look heavier and older than we are, we better figure out ways how to create this perfect flattering silhouette and accentuate the areas we really feel confident about. In this look, you see the combination of oversized sweater and wide leg bottom. My entire figure is covered with fabric without any focal point or accent on the most feminine parts of my body, such as cleavage, wrists, waist or hips. This way, I created quite boxy, heavy silhouette that makes my look quite boring and create this more mature image of me. If I only swap the relaxed fit for a fitted one and show a bit of bare skin and accentuate my waist, my look will instantly get younger and more appealing. The same applies to swapping loose bottom for a fitted one as here for example. I paired loose sweater with legging and high riding boots to balance up the silhouette and make my look more fresh and up to date. Obviously, color is the key to looking your best, no matter which age you are, but it becomes even more crucial when you start aging, because your skin doesn't look that bright, that glow anymore, and you get your first aging features, such as the smile lines or some pigmentation. And of course, you can use makeup to fix all that, to conceal these areas and to look brighter. But at the same time, too much makeup will definitely make you look older. And eventually, makeup can't fix the shadows, the wrong color next to your face is projecting on it. In the first example, I'm wearing a color which is medium dark, warm and muted, whereas my color type is light, cool and medium bright. So I simply look dull and older because of the wrong color framing my face. If I only switch to cool, light and clear hue, it immediately gives this uplifting effect to my face and brightens up my features, makes my skin look more clear, eyes pop up and mostly important make me feel more confident. The good thing is you don't need to wear flattering colors head to toe, you can just add a touch of your winning color next to your face as a small color accent to create this uplifting, rejuvenating effect. And before moving to another topic, I know a lot of you struggle with finding your personal style, the most flattering fits, colors, how to match clothes in the outfit, and I actually have a perfect solution for you. I have created a unique, intense styling course called the Three Day Makeover, which will help you to reinvent your personal style by using clothes you already have in your wardrobe. 
So within three days, you will learn and practice the skills of a real professional stylist. First of all, you will learn how to work with your figure and dress it its best by using the most flattering fits, fabrics, silhouettes. You will also learn how to choose colors for your appearance, for your hair color, for your eyes, for your complexion, in order to look brighter, fresher, younger. You'll create your own color winning palette and you will learn how to mix colors in the outfit in order to create really bold color combinations. And finally, you will also learn how to use styling hacks, which will help you to create stylish outfits out of the most basic staples in your closet. So after these three days, you will gain your new superpower. You'll be able to look at yourself and dress yourself like a real professional stylist. And if you're doubting you can achieve this result, just have a look at the link in the info box and you will find absolutely outstanding results, which my clients have already achieved after the three day makeover. I'm sure you'll find a lot of inspiration and motivation to improve your personal style. Another thing which makes you look older than you are is coordinating all items in the outfit, which make you look too reinforced, a bit dated and create this more mature impression of you. It actually happens when you try to match all the clothes, including shoes and accessories in terms of style, especially when we talk about classical style or when it's too much feminine. If I wear a silk blouse with classic black straight pants, both very classic, and then still pair it with classic patent pumps and the same bag, it will just make my outfit too formal, too classic, and eventually makes me look older in it. Instead, I'd pair a silk blouse with white leather pants to create a style contrast and add bold metallic sling bags and white back. And then you see my outfit immediately becomes more modern, stylish and up to date, meaning me looking much younger in it. The same goes for black pants, which can be easily upgraded by pairing it with striped t-shirts, sneakers and a blazer to support some structure in the outfit. Because I mix classic and sporty style, my outfit looks younger and less predictable. First of all, I would like to point out that you need to keep up with trends in order to look actual and stylish, no matter which age you are. And of course, it doesn't mean that you need to wear trends head to toe, but some trend injections will definitely help you to look stylish, up to date, younger, without changing your wardrobe to the core. Talking about keeping up with trends, there is one category which is extremely trend sensitive, and this is actually accessories. And by accessories, I mean shoes and accessories. If you're wearing a dated bag or dated shoes or dated jewelry, no matter how fresh, stylish and trendy your outfit is, you'll never look up to date, which means you will look older in it. I've got this beautiful knitted dress this season, I really love it. And now I just ruin it in a matter of seconds by pairing it with old crocker boots and old Gucci bag from the top shelf of my closet. And then still accessorizing it with old jewelry on top. Do you see the effect? Okay, let's fix it. First of all, I would go for modern bold shoes and swap the Gucci bag for a more up-to-date, such as this boxy one. And then, as you see, my dress gets an instant makeover. I kept the core of the outfit and only played with shoes and accessories to make my look go from old-fashioned and more mature to modern and stylish one, which obviously creates a fresher and younger image in general. Et voilà, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, I'll see you on Thursday, bye!